Hey guys, Hello Bella here, and I just want to show you very quickly how you can add a rectangular text box to your Canva image. This took me entirely too long to figure out. I was actually trying to add a rectangle shape through the elements page, and I just couldn't figure it out. I just kept trying to resize rectangles and there is a much easier way. So I want to share that with you guys today. Um, so all you're going to do to make this uh, appear this way, we're going to go down and look at one that I haven't messed with yet. So we've got the text here that we want the rectangular background to be behind. Um, you can also choose whether or not you want it like square or round, but I'll get into that in just a second. So all you're going to do is click the text that you're looking at. And then you're just going to click effects up here and then there is actually a button in effects that will allow you to do the background you do not have to size it and fool with it like i was trying to do so you just click that and then you'll notice that it is uh, rounded um, most of the time you don't see it rounded when you look at youtube thumbnails you see it more square so just go down where it says roundness and go all the way and then you can change it to square and then for spread, this will choose how much of the box is around the text. So you can make it larger or smaller. Um, personally, I like to make it kind of fitted. Um, and then, um, you know, it just depends on what you're looking at. If you're making a thumbnail, you might want to consider where you're putting everything and where you're putting the text. Um, but let's do this and just kind of see how it works. Um, and then transparency, you can always uh, make it like sort of like it blends into the background. That looks kind of good, I think. Um, and then you can also change the color of it. So if you're trying to do some branding you can click that and then click any color that you want you can also um, go and get colors out of your own uh, thumb thumbnail picture so just click that button here and then if you wanted it to be for instance this weird green color you could have that blend in like that so that's just one thing that you can do with it so let's go back and finish out what we started um, let's see here let's play with the uh, the bottom text here so I'm just going to go back and click the text and then click effects and then scroll down and click background and then we want it to be square again so let's take it where it says roundness and turn that all the way down the spread kind of just depends on your personal preference you can turn it up or turn it down um, I'm going to leave it about midway um, and then I may uh, kind of play with where this is um, you can move it up or down um, but now instead of having something that's hard to read on the screen uh, you can definitely um, see that it's much easier to see uh, one thing I don't really understand about Canva is why it won't let you add like multiple effects to something but if you really wanted to do that you could just um, duplicate this layer and then put it on top of itself and then from there you could add the other effect that you want to add so if you wanted to add a shadow or you want to for instance add a splice that one's more obvious to see um, you could just do that and so now we've got the two layers um, so we could add the splice uh, and still have the text box so that's a workaround for that uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me why you can't do two at a time but um, I find that Canva Canva is really powerful but it does have some limitations it's not as user friendly as I would hope um, it's not something that you know everything is not super intuitive for me but I'm not really you know the biggest tech person so maybe that's it so that is the tutorial for how to add a text box in canva pretty easy stuff you just have to know where to find it and you don't have to go and play with these uh rectangles over here because that's what i've been doing for the last few minutes and i finally found the button so just wanted to share that with you guys i hope that you enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the next one take care